Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching a video about a Karen who throws a massive tantrum because she might lose her coupon points. It's the morning of the big showdown, and the couponers have arrived at their respective supermarket arenas. Oh my god, this is like so dramatic. Basically, if you don't know what a couponer is, I don't actually know what it is. I'm pretty sure coupons are like a thing that you get whenever you like, I don't know, buy stuff. Let me look it up one minute. Okay, it says in marketing, a coupon is a ticket or document that can redeem for financial discount or rebate when purchasing a product. So basically, it helps you get money off. Melissa, get your coupon and grab your cart. Kelly, get your coupons, grab your cart. Oh my god, I've just realized this is literally like a contest to see who can get the most money off. Is this literally like I'm a celebrity? But in their case, it's like I'm a coupon. Let's see how much money I can save. Melissa and Kelly rush into the aisles, and Kelly goes straight for the most challenging part of her shop. The bananas. The bananas are the most challenging part. I'm actually quite interested by this. Like, my mum's got a couple of coupons. I don't think there's big nowadays. This is like a very 2000s thing, like 2010. I'm not gonna lie, if I weren't a YouTuber, I'd be a couponer. Counting exactly 200 bananas is essential for Cal because her coupon pairs produce items with her pre-order of 200 sports drinks. I'm gonna be completely honest, I've got no idea what that means, but she's getting 200 bananas. Does she not realize how much 200 bananas is? I swear bananas literally go off within the space of, like, like, a week? How's she gonna be eating 200 bananas? That's literally her gonna be eating like 20 a day. That ain't gonna work. While Callie counts bananas, Alyssa scrambles to grab the first items on her list. 14 of these. 14 bottles of Coke, right? Okay, we got somebody who's found 200 bananas, and by the looks of it, their cart was proper filled up. And this woman right here is getting 14 bottles of Coke. I'm not gonna lie, if I was living in my own age and had my parents watching over me 24 7, I'd be like that. She ain't gonna have teeth by the end of the week. Four of these taco seasonings. These seasonings are $1.19. I have a coupon for 75 cents, which is going to double to $1.50, which is going to allow me to get these seasonings for free. Oh my God, they're proper smart, aren't they? So basically, if they buy more, they get it for free. Is that what it is? I don't understand it. Like, I think it's so fascinating. This is like a new language. I was rubbish at languages in Scully Loki, which I was kind of good. Like, this is like Spanish to me. Like, they're saying stuff, but I can't understand it. Mom, what's next? 17 drinks. Okay, I gotta get 17 of these free drinks. She just got 200 bananas and now she's getting 17 drinks. What is going on here? Like, this is such an American thing. This definitely happens in America. Maybe I should go around to my local spa and see if they've got coupons. The large sodas that I got were full retail $1.79. I had a free coupon up to $1.79, so all of my sodas were free. Well, I mean, like, yeah, that's good. You get soda for free. But I'm just confused on why she's getting 200 bananas. Like, that hasn't been explained to us. Why has the woman picked out 200 bananas? Callie moves on to the next aisle. 1,400 miles away, Melissa counts out some canned tomato sauce. Okay, we have to get eight of these. Eight cans of tomato sauce. Are these women gonna eat the food or are they gonna sell it? Oh my god, imagine if they go into the shop, get it for free because of the coupons and then sell it for money. Do you wanna know something? I was laughing at these women, but they're actually business geniuses that they're gonna do that. They're money making machines. And I'm gonna need 20 of these. Six, seven, 13, 19, 20. Well, their trolleys are literally so filled. Like, imagine if you were in the shop and you just seen them. Imagine they do that during COVID times. Like, I'm telling you right now, they would get jumped. Like, they would get all their stuff stolen. But then, to be fair, this was probably filmed like 2010. I'm jealous of these women. Like, I want to be a coupon person. I'm going to change the card out. It's getting a little heavy. Hey. Alrighty. Off you go. She's had to change the cart because it's literally getting that full. I probably seem like such an idiot right now, but I genuinely don't understand what's actually going on. Just five minutes into the competition, Melissa is ahead of schedule with eight of the 15 minimum required items already secured. Oh, so this is a competition. I was thinking, is this like a reality show where they do this in real life? But like, they're proper going at it. Do you want to know something? I want to sign up to this TLC, get me in a program like this. While Melissa switches out her car, Callie goes for a particularly risky purchase. Okay, 14 dog food. My dad is supposed to be on his way with these coupons, and I still don't know if he's gonna come, so I'm just hoping he makes it. Okay, so her dad's in the way of the coupons, so she doesn't actually know if she's gonna be able to get money off that. Oh, no, something I've actually realized that shops are really sneaky. Shops know what they're doing whenever it comes to coupons because they know if people spend money. Like, they'll get more money, but then they can give them coupons to get people money off that money. What I said made zero sense whatsoever. It's kind of like whenever you go to a shop and it's like buy free for the price of two, but realistically, you've just been tricked in to buy in three of them for the price of three. I'm telling you right now, I probably seem like a schizophrenic old man right now, but I promise I'm making sense in my head. Okay, you got the 14 dog food, now out 
ten three drink mixes. Did you get your pre-orders? Uh, oh, crap, no. Oh, no, I just heard a dramatic sound. What's gonna happen? I also love how the mums are like a wee map. The mum's like, you need to go and run and get that. Do you reckon the mum used to be a coupon person? I bet you it's a family tradition. Realizing she's yet to secure her most important pre-order, Allie begins scouring the store for an employee. The sports drinks are essential to her haul. Since the coupon is being paired with the 200 bananas, she already counted out. Sports drinks. Can you go get them for me? Thank you. Oh my god, she's proper bossing him around. Okay, I think I kind of understand coupons. It's kind of like if you get one thing, you can get another thing. It's kind of like the buy free of them get the price for two. But in this case, it's like if you get a certain amount of bananas and a certain amount of Kool-Aid, you'll get money off it. Is that what it is? I'm still confused. I'm just jealous. Like, I know I've said that 15,000 times in this video, but I'm jealous. Like, these girls are so cool. Back in New York, Melissa's busy collecting her final items as she hustles toward the finish line. Need 40 of these. 40? Did they just say 40? 40 pizzas? Yet again, what's she gonna do with all of this food? Like, obviously, they're gonna get lots of money off. What are they gonna do with the food? I wouldn't buy 40 pizzas off a woman like that. I'd be thinking where'd she get the money from. She arrives at the register with over 18 minutes left, which gives her plenty of time to cross-check her list with everything in her carts. Okay, so as you can see, she's bought a lot of stuff, but the way it works, she's actually gonna pay not a lot for that. Basically, whenever she's, like, paying for it, the price will go up really high. But watch whenever she hands in them little coupons, the price is slowly gonna go down. In total, it's probably gonna cost her like $600, but with her coupon, she's gonna get it for like 40. 15 minutes left on the clock, Callie is recounting her produce. She makes a mistake, she won't have the exact amount to match her coupons and could lose the competition. Can we not talk about the competition for a second? We talk about why she's got bananas all over the floor. Obviously, bananas have like a seal on them, they're like protected. I'm telling you right now, if she loses this competition, put some bananas back, I feel bad for the people who have to eat them. Bananas were on the floor, someone could setting them. As Callie finalizes her banana count, Melissa makes a last minute product switch to ensure that she meets the required $500 minimum. I just love how they're literally stood at like the checkout with all these things. Okay, so basically the total is going to be under $500. I say this every single time I watch a video like this, but where do the people find these people? TLC have obviously went out and looked for coupon people like this, and they find them. And with 9 minutes and 50 seconds remaining, Melissa officially stops the clock. I'm done. Feeling pretty good. I'm hoping the math just works out. Okay, Okay, so Melissa is at the checkout. She's got it completely done. She's like, do you want to know something? I've got my coupons ready. I'm ready to pay. However, the other woman on the other side of America is stressing out. And keep in mind, somebody has a meltdown by the end of this video. Your total is $525.25. 525 25 is exactly where I want it to be. You better have over $500 worth of coupons in here. Oh, right. So she doesn't even know she's got $500 worth of coupons. Okay, so this is the part where you see them scan the coupons. She's literally going to pull out like 50 billion pieces of like paper and they scan them. Have you ever got like a gift card? This is basically gift cards, but like on steroids because they've got like 50 billion of them. We've only got our total down to 446 right now. If one coupon sticks together or if one doesn't get scanned, that's just gonna throw our total off. I think they're basically trying to get to the lowest price possible. Imagine they literally get all of that for free. I don't think that's possible, but you don't know it is a possibility. Also, what happens if the person loses? Like, do they literally have to put everything back? Your total after coupons is 46 cents. The pre-tax total of just 46 cents. Melissa's savings percentage is an impressive 99.91%. So she literally had like $400, $500 worth of food. And with coupons, she got like 99.9% off. Imagine you're going in your daily shop and you're just like buying loads of stuff. And then you give in your wee coupons and you get lots of money off. I'm telling you, coupons is crazy. I don't care what she has to say. I want to see what the other woman has to say. Now I'm at 272, so that's actually halfway there. So so, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so we're at the other woman now. Also, I skipped the clip, but I think the other woman, like the one we just watched before this one, got zero. So she literally got 100%. I don't know if that's correct. I guess we'll find out in the end. <laughs> Bad beat quickly brings her checkout to a standstill. Oh no, what's gonna happen? There's a bad beat. This is so dramatic. Like, ain't mine, this is coupons. Why am I watching this? Like, I don't know why I'm watching this stuff. Either way, it's coupon wars. I'm just embarrassed. I worked for like two weeks on all these coupons and they're just not scanning. Is she really crying over coupons? Like, yeah, you might lose competition, but are you really crying? This is such an American thing. Like, everything about this is American. Lots of the coupons, her crying, the dramatic 
darkness. Do you want to know something? I need to leave Northern Ireland and become a woman in America because I want to be one of them. Some of your coupons have went over the value of the item. Our store policies doesn't allow that. Our system doesn't allow that. I don't know what that means, but basically their system said, nah, you're using too many coupons. That's actually quite good. Like, I like that they've got that system in place, mainly because it means women like her can't abuse the system. Like, imagine they go in and buy a load of things and then just use their weak coupons to get money off. Also, I can't believe she's literally crying about this. Like, come on. Your total balance without tax is 26.76. You saved a total of 92.54%. <laughs> I mean, that's good, but I swear the other woman literally got 99%. So either way, she's won, so I guess we're going to see her crying more tears. A savings of 92.54% isn't enough to beat Melissa's perfect score. It's a little frustrating that I didn't win, because when I do something, I do it 100%. I mean, yeah, you might go for 100%, but you failed. I'm actually quite shocked. Like, isn't that so fascinating how that's like an actual thing? The other woman literally got all of her shopping for zero cents. Like, she got it for free, basically. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. I don't know what we just watched that was coupon wars if you want to see me watch more videos like this let me know i definitely will i hope you enjoyed this video if you're a press big red subscribe button and just i'll see you all in the next video